I'm Robert with Nomium, and we're taking a quick look at Miro Lite. If you go to Miro.com backslash L-I-T-E, you will find Miro Lite, and you don't need to log in. You don't even need to create an account to use this. Miro Lite is great if you need a whiteboard at the drop of a hat, especially if you haven't created a Miro board, you just need a blank canvas, and if you'd like to onboard people to Miro without giving them all the features and functions of a normal Miro board. So I'm at Miro.com backslash L-I-T-E right now, and I'm going to create a board. While we wait, you'll see this will pop up some instructions on how to use Miro, or at least the light version. And there it is. Now, at any time, we can select this content and we can delete it. But it is a great onboarding template that they give you with a video, how to use stickies, how to use shapes, connecting lines, uh, some menu options, and templates. But I'll walk through that with you in case you have never used Miro. Now, before I walk through how to use Miro Lite, because some of you say, hey, I've already used Miro before and I know how to use the features. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to go ahead and, and paste something in here. I'm going to go to the text tool and I'm going to copy and paste some things right here and uh, just put this on the screen. Uh, just for people who have used Miro, these are some great points. There's the URL. This only has basic tools and it only lasts 24 hours. So as I said, if you have an immediate need for a blank canvas, this is great. You don't have to log into your account. You don't have to build any templates. It's just blank. You'll see at the top it does say it will last for 24 hours and if you want to save it you can log into your account or sign up for a free account and it will save it as one of your free boards. Uh, this third bullet point if you make a board you haven't cleared it uh, you haven't cleared your browser history whatever you do with Miro Lite when you come back will be this one Miro Lite board. So for example, what you see now on the screen, if I exit my browser and I don't clear my cache and my cookies and all of that, when I come back to Miro Lite, this is what you will see, at least for 24 hours. So if I'm going to use a second blank Miro Lite board, I would need to go and clear my browser, or because I am a paid Miro user, I can just go in and create a blank canvas at any time. And then finally, as I mentioned, that fourth bullet point, once you sign in, you can give it a name. And if you have a paid account, you can get all of the other tools that we don't see on the screen right now. So those of you who have used Miro before, you know how the rest of it works. You can stop watching this video. Uh, but I will continue showing the basic tools and features of Miro Lite. Uh, one of the things we'll notice at the bottom right is we do still get the map. Now the map doesn't have a lot on it right now because I've, I've only got um, some text there, but it does give you some uh, zoom options and, and some navigation op options, but I'm going to go ahead and, and close that. So here on the left, the great thing about Miro Lite is it's not going to overwhelm people. It's not going to have too many functions that do intimidate a lot of brand new users. So here we've got the pin. If I just want to draw something, there we go. And of course I can use a highlighter, uh, I, can, I can erase things, um, and of course at the top I do have that undo button or I can use the uh, control Z. One of the things people love about Miro are the templates. Now Miro Lite comes with these eight templates and you'll notice at the bottom they say hey if you'd like to have over a hundred of them you know sign up for free which is a great thing to do but again we don't want to do that with Miro Lite. Uh, if we just want to use it as a go-to blank canvas. So we'll go to this brain writing and there we go. It's posted that for me and of course I can I can uh, change any of this uh, that I want just like a normal Miro board. We of course have the sticky notes that you'll see on that canvas but again we can add sticky notes anytime we want and it will auto format that for me if I'd like. Uh, the, the text tool, which you saw me use copy and paste, this works the same. Shapes, 
also work the same as a normal Miro board. We can color those in. We can change the uh, transparency of that. Uh, we, can, we can go and change any of these colors that we want. And we, of course, have the very helpful connecting lines. We want to connect one thing to another thing um, and then have those, um, the lines move around as we manipulate those objects. Or we just like to highlight things and point to stuff. We can do that as well. Um, to get, you'll notice that that option button that was on the left side. It says, "Hey, if you want to go get all of these other tools that Miro usually has, please go sign up." Again, it's free. Uh, it is the free version does give you limited options. The paid version, which is not very much, gives you a ton of options as well as the ability to create these boards and send these boards out to other people. So. Those of you who want to try Miro, sign up for free. But again, if you want a blank canvas to just give people wonderful, uh, use Miro Lite as a go-to. Now, if you want the rest of these, you can sign in. So I'm going to go to sign up for free. And I'm not going to sign up for free because I've already signed up. Um, I'm going to go to my sign in here. Maybe, there we go. And now, you'll notice, after I sign in, it says, hey, we took your Miro light. You've already worked on it. We didn't change anything. And we're going to go up here. We're going to give it a name. Miro light demo. Save that. It takes just a moment. And now, you'll notice, it's going to reset and watch the bottom of my screen all of those facilitator tools at the bottom, now they're there. Also on the left side, okay, thank you for telling me that, Miro. Uh, we've got the frames, we've got uploading, we've got the Google images, and all of the other options that come with the normal Miro. So we started with light, now we're in the regular Miro version, and I hope this has been helpful, and if you have any questions, we would love to hear from you.